welcome to another Movie Geek review. And, and in this video, I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on the Borat 2, uh, the subsequent uh, movie film. So this is a sequel to the first Borat, which we've seen, um, I can't remember actually when, when it was released. Um, but it took some time before, uh, until, until Sasha Baron Cohen came up with this much awaited, uh, sequel. Uh, it's directed by Jason Walliner, um, and written by a bunch of amazing screenwriters, including, of course, the genius himself, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Um, of course, it's gonna be inevitable to, comp uh, not to compare this sequel from the original uh, Borat. And if you can ask my honest, uh, my very honest uh, answer, uh, I still prefer the first movie. And I think, you know, it's 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 common uh, for, for sequels uh, to face this kind of challenge, even for remakes to face this kind of uh, challenge. You know, it's going to be difficult to match um, the, the, the first one, the original uh, movie, especially that Borat, the original one, uh, really created, um, it's a cult film, you know, it created a certain type of um, cinematic experience when it comes to uh, comedy. And, and it's, it's so hard to, to match that uh, or to provide something new that, you know, that the audience hasn't seen uh, or hasn't, hasn't seen from the first one. Um, one thing to note, though, with this sequel is that, you know, the risks uh, that Sasha Baron Cohen took, both personal and artistic, um, in this sequel is, is, is very admirable. And, and, you know, I think there's a lot of different angles that he explored in this one uh, that wasn't completely um, explored in the first uh, movie. Like the political angle uh, is, is, is definitely one of them. Um, also, the other uh, thing that makes this movie slightly different from the first one is how they were able to humanize it. You know, the story of Borat uh, becomes even more relatable now that uh, they added this family element to it. You know, there's a daughter uh, played by the, the brilliant uh, Maria Bakalova. And uh, it's a great addition to, to, to the story. Um, however, I think towards the end, it almost became a dramatic kind of emotional film with, with still lots of comedy splashes everywhere. But I think it kind of uh, changed and, and shifted its direction from being this crazy, hilarious, weird comedy that we've seen uh, in the first Borat. Uh, and now it kind of turned into a almost like a an adult family movie. I don't know if that exists, but that, that's my assessment of, of kind of like the last 40 minutes of, of the film or the last 30 minutes of the film. Um, Maria Bakalova, she was brilliant. And I, I think if, if there's any justice in this world, she will be nominated uh, for, um, for an Academy Award. And yes, I'm saying that. I hope she gets nominated. I hope uh, the acting buddy recognizes her. Um, she was she was great, you know the transformation uh, that that Maria went through in the film from the from the her first sequence up until the last uh, uh, sequence that she was on. It was brilliant. The transformation she was transforming and evolving right in front of our eyes, and the way she was able to to really show us different um, uh, uh, personalities and different kinds of. Um, uh, emotions uh, throughout the whole film was 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 admirable, um, and I think it's 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 uh, it's all down to her brilliant talent. And if I'm if I'm not mistaken, she was already doing some acting pieces back uh, at her home, uh, Bulgaria. I really hope I got that right. Um, please let me know if, it, if 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 she's not from Bulgaria, but I'm, I'm pretty sure she's from Bulgaria, uh, and she's done a lot of you know uh, TV work uh, or commercial work uh, in the past. But obviously, this is gonna this was her her biggest break, and and with without a shadow of a doubt, she really gave everything, uh, and and was able to impress you know a lot of people. I've seen uh, a lot of uh, comments online uh, that are really pushing uh, for her to be uh, recognized as one of the the, the best supporting actresses uh, for 2020. So hopefully we'll see her name uh, coming up in uh, as soon as the award season uh, starts next year. Um, but going back to the film, I think... Um, this, the screenplay was brilliant. Uh, there are some new jokes, um, but a lot of it is more of a copy-paste with a bit of an enhancement of how they did the first uh, Borat. 
Um, so I think that's where I was, um, I'm, I'm a little unsure, you know, that sense of originality. Uh, but then again, they're only copying from themselves, so it's still fine. <laughs> um, uh, the other technical aspects of the film, uh, the editing was okay, uh, the cinematography was okay, the scoring was okay. Um, the production design is again is very similar to the first uh, for, to the first one. Uh, there was no um, attempt to kind of do something extra special. Um, I think one of the things that I really uh, like about this movie, though this sec the sequel, is they were able to touch on a lot of uh, national and international global issues. Uh, and and just make fun of it, and I think that's what we needed here uh, in this year. You know, a movie that will uh, just make fun of the situation, and and you know, a, an opportunity for us to forget about what's happening around us and just laugh and just enjoy, and just really, you know, <laughs> I think it, it's one of those films that made me forget that oh yeah, 2020 was a really shit year, and 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 this one um, uh, is it was was a great. A way to kind of escape from the realities and and that's what this film i think was what that's why they made this film in the first place and and well did amazon for 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 producing uh this film or for being uh for being the instrument uh to, to for this film to be released at this particular time of the year um i think sasha baron cohen is genius I've been calling him a genius since I saw the first Borat. And then there's Bruno. Not 100% sure about the dictator. Uh, but again, with, with, with this one, he was able to, to, to again, maintain uh, that level of creativity. And, and I think, uh, and I'm really hoping that this is not the last that we, we will see from, from Sasha Baron Cohen in this type of uh, uh, movies, in this type of films. Because he's, he's great at this. And I hope he continues doing this. Do I think this will go as far as winning, for example, the best comedy award uh, at the Golden Globes? I think if you if you base it on the entertainment factor, it will definitely win. I think it's the best comedy we've seen so far this year. Um, I'm not sure if it's too political or if it's too sensitive to to win an award, for example. But we'll see. I think. I think if it's purely down to entertainment factor, if it's purely down to the, the, the true essence of the word comedy, then this one has, has the, the greatest chance uh, so far. Um, I'm, I'm not actually sure if I've seen any other good comedies uh, this year, so maybe this is the only one. Um, so there you have it. Um, out of a possible 10, I'm giving Bora to the subsequent movie film, I need to get it right, um, a 7. So, so that's high. I think I, I think I gave the first one a seven as well. So it's it's pretty much the same. Though if I'm gonna repeat one, if I'm gonna have to watch uh, and choose between the two, what what will I watch first? I'll, of course, I'll choose the first one. Um, but I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. Um, have you seen uh, Borat 2? Uh, please add your comments uh, in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get all the latest movie reviews. Thank you very much. Bye.